Hey guys, it's Bitcoin Schmitcoin here with another update for Bitcoin Magazine's market analysis. We'll be starting on the monthly time frame today, working down to the weekly, the daily, and concluding on the four hour time frame. The one thing I just want to point out on the monthly time frame is this horizontal level outlined here uh, by the swing high. And as we start to zoom into the lower time frames, keep an eye on this because our intraday volatility has seen a lot of a lot of interaction with this price level. Uh, looking at the weekly chart, uh, you know, I still have the level outline here as monthly level. Um, and we can see that, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of, of uh, effort to push the market up. And currently it's running into a bit of supply here. Um, you know, the weekly candle is still only halfway formed. So not a whole lot of information can be gathered uh, with our current candle. But uh, one thing we can see is that uh, the previous weekly candle was uh, a bit of a bullish engulfing candle and it did pop into the supply zone. As we look at the daily time frame, keep an eye out for the weekly level I have outlined here by this black solid line. Uh, we can see here that the daily has so far been unable to close uh, you know, consistently above. We did see it close, but it got it rejected on our last candle. And now uh, we're currently seeing uh, a little bit of support on the prior, on the prior high here. So uh, I'm going to zoom in a bit and uh, take a look at this. So the yesterday's daily candle, we saw a close, you know, right around that price range. It's not quite on it, but uh, close enough, you know, nothing terribly bearish there. Uh, but as we look at the four hour time frame, uh, we start to see a little bit more uh, interaction with that, uh, that monthly candle. Um, looking at the, the monthly level here, this band of prices right here. We can see that the market is kind of uncomfortable staying above that level. We see an attempt here, it failed. We see an attempt here, it failed. And something to note is that each time it, it drifts above, it gets rejected on very high volume and high spread. Uh, both of these times it did that. Um, the second time it tried to poke even deeper and well, it got rejected uh, with a little bit more follow through. We can see the first rejection had a nice bounce. Uh, and so far, the secondary rejection saw a little bounce and the demand is a little lacking. Something that's immediately concerning uh, for our macro structure is something that I brought up um, a few days ago, uh, and that is this Bollinger Band setup that we're seeing here. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how Bollinger Bands work, you don't need to know all the details. Just imagine that when the market is pushing up, we don't really want to see the markets drifting back inside the Bollinger Bands as we're climbing new highs. We want to see it kind of riding uh, the bands, maybe even poking a little bit outside. And what we can gather is that uh, as the market starts to drift inside, it sh it's showing um, waning bullish momentum here. Um, specifically, we see a setup called a three pushes to a high. We even see a bit of an M top forming. And the three pushes to a high setup is just quite simply, uh, we see one push, two push, and our third pushes, and each time it's having weaker and weaker effect on the market. Um, we can see that uh, our third push uh, is currently, you know, the setup has yet to be confirmed, uh, but the setup will be confirmed if we see a uh, a down day close on our on our three-day candle here. Uh, the candle did open yesterday, so we're midway through the candle, but if we do see a down day, that would start to confirm the pattern. And, if, and specifically, if we can close below the prior high, which is this guy right here, then uh, that'll be more uh, more evidence for, for bullish exhaustion. Um, so far though, you know, if, if, if you take it uh, with the simple outlook of, you know, higher highs, higher lows, um, you know, this is still a bullish market. But something to consider, however, is that with this three-day Bollinger Band setup, uh, this could yield a trend reversal. Um, that doesn't mean that we're going to go into like a bear market or anything, but it could mean that we're going to come back down here and test some weekly levels. So let's take a look at the weekly levels of where we could go if we do see a reversal. So weekly levels are outlined by these thick red bands. And typical price target for a uh, an M top is going to be, the first is going to be the midline of the Bollinger Bands, and the second is going to be the lower band. Um, obviously, this is going to take place over several days if it does play out. It's not something that's just going to immediately wreck the market or anything like that. You know, these are three-day candles, so it could take several weeks to play out. Um, but something to keep in mind is uh, these weekly levels here. Um, we have yet to come down for a retest of this level, so you know it's entirely possible that the M top that we're seeing here 
uh, the only thing that ends up happening is it pulls down to this level and retests this guy here. Um, however, if things really do get nasty, we could see a pullback all the way down to uh, this $6,100 to $6,800 band of prices here. Um, we can see that um, with our prior market structure, uh, you know, we had we never really tested a breakthrough of this zone, which is you know all of these uh, all this price activity here. So if we did see a pullback, um, you know, we could still pull back all the way down to here and still have a macro bullish bias. So don't you know don't 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 get confused with uh, you know a correction and think that that's that means we're going into a full fledged bear market. That's not what that means. It just means that you know we saw a crazy rally and a lot of times people just are going to take profit. People are going to start starting to short and uh this is a logical place to do this so i suspect that if we start to drift back down here we'll start to see a, a bit of accelerated selling um there's a lot of supply here showing up on the daily and intraday charts and um yeah you know if, if bullish demand does uh, doesn't step in then uh, it seems likely that we're going to drift uh back down to uh th to you know this level down here um and again if that doesn't hold well then we're going to see lower lows uh, if we manage to hold support, we are currently holding support, right? We're above the range, the range high, which is you know this level here. If we continue to hold, uh, well, then the next price target is going to be uh, between 9,500 to 9,900. Uh, this is a weekly swing high, and this is a monthly swing high. So there's a uh, a lot of interest in this zone here. So we could easily, you know, if we hold support here, we consolidate a bit and we break out. Well, then this is going to be the next zone of interest. So uh, this is this is the uh, these are the two areas we're looking for. If we hold support here, well, then we're going we're definitely going to move up. Uh, and if we don't hold support here, then uh, I expect to see a pretty aggressive round of selling. Uh, on the intraday and maybe daily time frames. Um, but so far, you know, higher lows, higher highs, bullish market structure, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it is a it is a bull market. Things are looking very bullish. Uh, there are just some concerning uh, macro elements that are showing potential um, signs of weakness in the market, and we just need to keep an eye on those. Uh, I'll try to update you guys on Friday, uh, but for now, keep an eye out for this band of prices here, because uh, if that gives way, then I'm expecting a shove down to uh, this 8100 to $8,000 level.